Howdy my peeps and welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about art styles which was suggested by the one and only Teddy. Thank you so much for your suggestion. I really appreciate it. Um, especially since I've been kind of struggling with topic ideas. So thank you so much. But before we get into today's topic, I would like to give a shout out to Felicia Flair, who was the comment of the week. Thank you so much for your comment. I really, really enjoy reading all those comments. Um, they really brighten my day. And I just, I just like reading them, you know. And if you would like to be the comment of the week, all you have to do is comment on any video. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into this topic here of art styles. Uh, I want to start by kind of defining what I feel an art style is and kind of going into that realm first. So, um, if you're one who's trying to like find your art style right now, I would say that if you're drawing, you already have an art style because the style that you're drawing with is a style. Like, if you're drawing, you have a style already. Um, so, yeah, but anyway, I think art style is, like, as far as, like, getting your own distinct art style, it just comes about through, uh, constant drawing, and it's an evolutionary process, so how I used to draw things, uh, a year ago, um, like, just as far as, like, my style is concerned, like, I draw differently now, because, you know, just as you draw, you start doing things differently, um, maybe by accident, which I find is the case for me a lot of the times. I just like draw something differently and it's like, and I'm like, oh, I kind of like that. And then I just start doing it um, over and over again and it just becomes a part of my own distinct art style. Um, so yeah, that's the end. But anyway, uh, a few years ago, uh, this was like a while ago, well, quite a while ago, but anyway, on my Instagram I had mentioned that I kind of wanted to have a different art style than the one I had at the time, and one of my friends, um, Turtle Bun Buns, who's also here on YouTube and on Instagram, if you want to check her stuff out, um, she was like, um, why not have multiple ones? And I was like, you know what, that's a fantabulous idea. So. Uh, these days, I have at least five uh, distinct art styles. Um, like, I still, like, um, how do I say this? Like, they're all still, like, my, my art style, and they all are unique to me, I feel. But they all are different in their own way. So I have my first style that you see here, which is my default style, I guess you would call it. And the one in the middle, which is kind of a... I wouldn't call it, it's not chibi, it's like my, I guess, hmm, like the, my styles, it's like the, uh, the difference, hold on, how to say this, <laughs> words are failing me right now, um, it's like different stages of cuteness, I guess is what I'm trying to say, so the first one is like default, it's, it's nice, I like that style, and then the second one, it's like, um, my characters kind of look like children, even though they're not, um, if that makes any sense. And then the third one is kind of a m mixture of my really cutesy style, which is the fourth one, and my default style. So I use the same like face shapes and nose shape and things as my default style, but then I use the eyes and uh, somewhat coloring style of the last one, which is like my cutesy style, which is dot eyes, a strange butternut squash nose, and like simplified shapes and things. So those are my, um, well those are four of my distinct styles. My other one is more of like a semi-realistic, um, teetering on the edge of kind of creepy because why does it look like that style? I didn't do that for this video because of time. Be like that sometimes, but anyway. So those are like my distinct styles, and each of these came about through just drawing a lot and like, like I said earlier, kind of doing things differently when I draw and realizing that I'm doing it and being like, oh, I kind of like this, and then just continuing to do it. Uh, and if you, um, hold on, let me lose it. Uh, as far as just like changing your art style, like if it's something that you want to like consciously do, like you can definitely do that through actively changing things in your style and figuring out which ones you, like which changes you would like to keep and which changes you feel need to go. Um, or 
kind of just how I do it and just like um, in a natural way where it just it just kind of happens through um, doing doing it over and over again um, and if you look at this example that I have up on the screen for you of this is like the evolution of my um, cutesy style it started out actually I don't have the very first example the very first example would be just like a smiley face and I one day I guess decided to draw my own version of a smiley face uh, and it was kind of like a little character of myself um, her name is Amira Buckteeth but anyway um, and then my next like the evolution from that style to like my next cutesy style was like a, it's kind of like the middle style you see here and then the final one which is like my current cutesy style is kind of like a mixture of the two of them I think this example really shows how um, art styles um, can change over time and evolve over time, I guess if you use that word. Because um, it started out as just like a smiley face and then just by changing things little by little, sometimes not even on purpose. Like with the butternut squash nose, that wasn't like a um, conscious thing. I just like one day while I was scribbling in my sketchbook, drew it and I was like, oh, that's kind of cute. So I kept it. And now it's a part of my cutesy style. So, um, like when you're, like if you're trying to like come up with an art style, you don't really have to sit down and think, I want these certain elements in my style. You can, of course, do that. I personally do not. I kind of just go with the flow and let, um, like a lot of times when I'm drawing, I'm just, I'm on autopilot mode and I'm not really thinking about what I'm doing. And I find that. I come up with some pretty nice things when I do that for me to along, you know? So, yeah. Uh, I hope that uh, helps you. Um, as far as, like, changing uh, between styles, like, if you're not pleased with your art style at the moment um, and you want to change to something different, you can start by looking at a bunch of references for other styles that you like and asking yourself, what is it about these styles that I like? Um, is it the nose? Is it the shading? Is it the um, atmospheric lighting? And uh, kind of begin to incorporate some of those things into your style. Whenever I see that my style is kind of in, heading in a direction that I don't really like, uh, well, I kind of just push through it. Like in, in that instance, like it's that for me is um, one of the types of art blocks that I get. Um, when I'm just like drawing things and it's just like, eh, this is just, I'm not really liking this. Um, and I find that that is like when I'm starting to feel like I'm having an art block is like the in-between stages between, um, uh, my style, my styles, like the evolution of my style is like that point when I'm like, ah, nay, <laughs> is that's like when my art is actively changing to something else because it's like I'm not satisfied with what I'm doing right now and so I try to see what is it that I don't like and don't do those things anymore so I hope that's helpful for art block I guess but anyways that's pretty much all I have to say about art styles I hope this was helpful uh, and what do you think what are your thoughts on art styles and changing art styles and having a gazillion art styles um, do you have a gazillion art styles? Or do you have just one? Or two? Or three? Or a billion? I don't know. I don't know what you have. But anyway, um, <laughs> since I'm done talking about that, I'm going to talk about the drawing. Um, I wanted to do a watercolor or something originally, but we were under a boil water advisory where I live, and I didn't really want to do that. <laughs> So I ended up just um, using Copics because, come on now, I've talked about this multiple times. I love these bad boys and they don't let me down. Well, sometimes they let me down, but it's not their fault, it's my fault because I do not purchase refills for them, a lot of them, and they need a little assistance and I just refuse to help them, that's my fault. But anyway, um, I kind of went with like a color scheme with the drawings too. I used a yellowy color and a bluish green desaturated color for Lutz's mini shirts. <laughs> and I think it looks really nice and really cute. And it's really nice to see all the styles together and I kind of see how they're similar to each other. And it's really nice to do that. And I highly recommend you do that with your OCs. Or OC. But anyway, this is how the drawing turned out. 
Hope you like it. I liked it. I still like it. <laughs> I think it's really nice and cute and it was fun to do and I think you should do it too if you want to. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to support me in my art, you can head over to my Patreon where you can get early access to videos, uh, a monthly studio vlog, a monthly wallpaper, and a shout out at the end of each video. Speaking of which, shout out to my patrons, Tara Bun Buns, Ariana, Kelsey, and J. Cameron. Thank you so much for being my patrons. I really appreciate you and everything that you do. Um, I'm also on Coffee and I'm also on Instagram and you can also subscribe to my channel if you want to. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and please enjoy the rest of your day, my peeps.